a, a full paradigm shift. A paradigm shift means the abandonment of the beliefs, values, facts, and assumptions upon which you've built everything. And if we shift our paradigm, then everything we've done in the past becomes suspect at least. So we need to go a different route. And so far, we're unwilling to entertain the serious thinking and actions that would be required to go that different route. Let's assume we do think that we're in a desperate situation. Then clearly, right now, you should be rationing fossil fuel to those essential uses for which there are no immediate substitutes. And food production is one example. We should be taking every measure possible to reduce our need for energy. That's the, this discounting problem of the human mind. Uh, better to uh, enjoy the, the short-term benefits of low-cost housing than the long-term benefits of survival by taking the painful steps necessary to ensure the latter. So yeah, we're in a hell of a mess. I've contacted every single major environmental organization in Canada that is on the energy and climate thing, and they won't listen to any of this. It's all about the Green New Deal and the unlimited potential of abundantly cheap electrical and wind power in Canada. The more the bottom it imposes on the top to do the things to support what the bottom wants, you have that a, a kind of a symbiotic relationship. We have to have the top-down policies to enable the ordinary people to engage in the kind of lifestyles and community existences that move us forward. So it's neither top-down exclusively or bottom-up exclusively. They have to come together in some way. Democracies only work when you have a politically engaged, intelligent, well-informed population insisting. I have to say that I've tried to get ver versions of this particular perspective in the Globe and Mail, in a couple of other national publications online. I've uh, sent a, a version of it to The Guardian. None of these mainstream publications want to touch it. It's simply taboo. So in that sense, I, I think there's a huge blockage here in getting an alternative version of reality. I'm not saying that I'm absolutely right about everything, but people need to understand the, the domain that we're dealing with here in a much better and more comprehensive way. That people who still live close to the land are better off right now than those of us who are tied to things that cities provide. Cities are enormous parasites on the landscape. And I don't think a modern city will survive this century if we have to abandon fossil fuels. We will learn by necessity what skills we have to learn to survive. And it will be a kind of a natural selection. Those folks who do it well will survive. Those who don't are gonna have a 